as well. So, Jared, could you tell us a little bit about your organization? Uh, sure. So, um, when I was 12, I knew that I wanted to do something for the community, and it was right around that time when people were starting of New Year's resolutions and what to do, what they weren't going to do, and I was thinking, well, I could lose five pounds and gain it right back again, <laughs> <laughs> or I could actually do something different and help out my community. So I asked my parents a question that was on my mind, and it was on my mind for a while. What happened to the food pantries and all the food after the food donations, after the cans during the winter? People are still hungry, so where do they all go? So I asked my parents that, and they brought me to a food pantry. And then I was helping them around, and I was learning all of this really neat stuff. And this kid, probably around the ages of these, came up to me, and he was like a lab coat. He, would, he looked like he was about to just make some something. <laughs> so he walks up to me, and he goes, excuse me, sir, but do you have a Capri Sun? And I felt so bad for him because... In my refrigerator at home, I had a box of Capri Sun, but we didn't have any there. So sadly, he walked away with none. And I knew from then on, I wanted to help him. I wanted to help kids like him. I wanted to help adults like him. And, you know, I did what most people did. I went on a social media uh, device called Facebook, <laughs> put on Project Sunshine, said, this is my idea. This is my goal. I only want 520 cans, meaning 10 people would have to donate one can for every week, and we get 520 simple. At the end of the year, we got 10,000 cans. <laughs> and I said this to less people, but I, to me, I find that it's really astonishing that people like my idea and want to help with it. But I just see myself as like the delivery boy. Mm. I'm pretty much, you all, and thank you so much for those who donated, you all are the ones that are making the change. You all are helping other people out. I'm just delivering it. So we don't have to mic back to you, but again, thank you so much for donating and listening to me speak. it when he was 12, and um, just like the theme of this musical, Jeremiah 1-7, it doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, when God calls you to, to serve, you can, you can do it. You can do it. So, Amen. Thank you. You can do it. <laughs>